show. I may come across, and even if I don't know you, know that most of the time you're on your own, you know, um, in a number of different ways. You can't help the poor if you're one of them, like people you want to help out. You're on your own. Then, you, you know, then you turn around and you help or realize that the person, something like how I feel right about now, may look at certain people and realize, you know what, um, they're on their own. I got to let them do them. Some people just don't don't get it. And the only way for you to progress is for you to realize that you can't really heal the world and save the world because they don't want to be saved. Not everybody. It's always, 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 always going to be ignorance. It's always going to be poverty. My New Year's resolution isn't to try to save the world. I try to save even people around me. And now on this New Year's Eve, I'm clipping people. Like, I'm not, I mean, you know, not physically, but, you know, communication and all that. I'm cutting people short. I have to. Because then you'll both be in a messed up situation. And I always get... You know, I guess you could say emotional, sentimental. I always get to the point where I'm like, you know, I want to help. I even get philosophical, and I try to be there when they call, and I'm a shoulder to cry on. Then I think about, you know, even what I speak on. I got to practice what I preach. I can't be that rest haven. I can't be that person to be taken advantage of. Sometimes I even bite my tongue when I know what that other person is doing is wrong and they need to, they need to be taught a lesson. Now the reason why I even titled this no talk is because you can't talk. You could talk to your face is blue with certain situations. Now I agree with people needing a second chance, but not everybody deserves it. I agree with you have to have some type of respect and, and, you know, you have to be courteous and all that. But not only would they do that for you or not, but some people you just can't help. You just can't help. You know, so that's why I I titled this No Talk. You know, no comment. Not nice to say don't say it. The reason why I was even thinking about this because, you know, move like I said, moving into the, the 2011, a new year, not even just ceremonial, you know, because I feel as though I did a lot of partying. So New Year's is, is like for those who, you know, they they want to go out and party. They don't really get a chance <clears throat> to party. Some people go to church and all that other stuff, and I'm not knocking that. But, you know, how's the rest of your year looking like? But, you know, but um, sounds like I'm babbling. But I don't even know how much preaching I'm going to do with these shows. I may make the rest of my shows more on a fun level. Because I don't think people want to learn. They don't want to hear. And I have good intentions, or, or, or well, good intentions. But I'm tired. It's draining. You know, so I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to do that. That's what my resolution is, to try to stop trying to save people. That doesn't make me a bad person. That won't make you a bad person. Stop trying to save them. Do you. To go full throttle with my life. And sometimes, like I said, that could even be selfish. Because I might not even be doing good by trying to preach to them instead of letting them fall. Because I want them to do good. They don't even want themselves to do good. They don't really want to. Because they would at least make an effort to change. So I'm being selfish. So, you know, that's basically my thing. I can't save the world. I didn't know... There's um, no way in the world that I can save people, to help people that don't want to be helped. You know, um, you could just do good yourself, and then maybe eventually they get it. That's what my resolution is, to let go of last year, of the past, what I want, and just focus on myself. I don't know how many people have that as a resolution, to focus on yourself. You know, 
and to and to be more about yourself, help yourself, pay yourself first. Call in. Don't agree? Call me. From the day you're born to the day you die. If you're one of the poor ones, you just gotta work hard. One eighty seven. All right, all right, I'm back. All right, by now you know who I am. I am Michael Kent. I am internationalhustlers.com, internationalhustler.com, whatever way you want to look at it. Um, it's a website, basically, for the overachievers, mainly in the fashion and entertainment business. I also um, um, have runwayimages.com. And runwayimages.com is basically a website for models, even models with talent. Now, uh, back to what I was saying. You can't save everybody, you know. Um, Sometimes you get off your game and off of your pivot trying to save someone. Like I said, you're both screwed, you know. And um, the best thing you could do is to let them be, let them fall on their own sword. You know, it took me a long time to figure that out. I always try to help everybody around me. And sometimes, you know, not just financially. And financial could actually be the worst way to try to help these people because um, you're really going to be – you're really you're really messing up that way because they're not going to um, – they're not going to. They're not going to succeed, and then your valuable information that you're giving, basically for free, will go to waste. Now, some people may take heed to it and do something with themselves, but sometimes, I mean, that's kind of rare. You know, I'm not saying you shouldn't help anyone or whatever, but learn to know when it is to let go, and always remember people do change. So later on in life, you know, if you see them changing or you see them maturing. You know, you can help them, and y'all could probably bond together. But you got to focus more on yourself, because a lot of times it comes out of fear of what people would think of you. Are you being mean? Are you being selfish? Are you, you know, whatever? You, you know, are you hating on them, or you know, are you? Do you think you're better than them, and all this other stuff like that? You know, and so then you're afraid to be yourself and just do you and say, listen, I'll get back to you. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean by no talk. Like, sometimes don't say anything. Let them do them. Oh, really? Oh, that's, you know, I wish I could help you. Yada, yada, yada. You know, but in the back of your mind, you're on your own. That's the thought. That's the idea you have with them. Leave them be. Mind your business. And what it says, mind your business. Do you. You're on your own. You can't let that negativity get to you. Because you'll be stuck in a world, you know, of just back and forth. You'll be, you'll be probably end up worse off than them. Because sometimes by default, people learn lessons and move on, and they be, you know, and it ends up being cool. And then here you are stressing with them, you know, taking time out of your life, and then, then you probably, you know, your timing will be all thrown off on your own positive energy. So, you know, if you can understand what I'm saying, you know, you have to just let things be. No no talk. Just let it be. You know, um, that's basically that. I made the show so you can have something to think about, whether going into the New Year's or even after the New Year's. It's never too late to change. Some people feel as though they'll break their resolution in the first couple of days or you know, weeks or months, and they feel as though, oh, well, not. Nah. Take it from me. It's best to pay yourself first, mind your business. You know, don't try to control no one. You know, don't try to force anything. Don't try it. Don't try to force it. Let it be. Some people are meant to be in a certain positions that they're in so they can learn. 
their lessons so they could, you know, respect, you know, and value what they go through so they won't do it again. Sometimes they have to hit rock bottom, you know. And even if you have all the time in the world, you may even be doing them more bad than good, you know, by, you know, adding your two cents in. So, you know, um, you don't agree with me, you could, you could call in and, or, or, or if after the show and you're listening to this in the archive of some sort, um, you can always email me any comments, questions, or suggestions at nowhiring at hotmail.com. And um, I'll get back with you personally if you want me to share it over the air. I'm not sure how long I would have this going on, um, this show going on, going into the new year. I'm trying to be a little bit more efficient for more than just money for different business purposes. So I don't know if I'll have this show still going on um, on here. I got a little bit of a better idea. But anyway, you know, get with me. Any comments, questions, or suggestions? You have the number here. At right now, if you're listening live, it's 424-258-9229. Attention all actors, actresses, and talents of all types. Get the exposure you deserve. Show the world your best. Get featured on internationalhustlers.com. Are you an aspiring model? Runway, fashion, and glamour models of all sizes also want it. For more information, visit internationalhustlers.com. All right, I'm back. Um, again, no talk. Um, this is basically like a freestyle type of show. Like, um, it wasn't planned at all. A lot of my shows, I just come up with an idea, and then I just, um, you know, go with the flow, you know. And uh, just, you know, I like to express my opinions. But like I said, I may even stick away from giving too much of my opinion because, I don't know, <clears throat> I, I like respect, <laughs> like like the next person, you know, and um, you could be disrespecting yourself by um, continuously trying to preach and then growing gray hairs when the person, especially if it's someone you care about, isn't isn't listening or in the back of their mind, they're like, okay, I wish this guy would shut up. And you know what? It is personal experience. There's plenty of people, family, friends that I speak with, and I'm like, yo, you should do this and you should do that. And at the end of the day, they end up hating on me because it seems like I'm being pompous and, like, you know, I have no problems. Like, come on. I have issues too. I mean, not psycho loony issues, but, you know, I I, I do things. People always assume because I'm not um, – at your average nine to five, and I'm more of a business person that this, like I have all the time in the world, all the money in the world, and I'm cool and nothing's going on. But listen, that's not the case, okay? So they don't listen. A lot of people judge wrong, wrongly, and sometimes the right way. And they, when they listen, when they listen to you, they're not listening with open ears as much. So even if you're you know, intentions are good, even if they're the type to listen to constructive criticism, even if they're the, they know what their problem is and, there's, you know, they're not in denial, even if you're not afraid of what they'll think by you telling them, hey, listen, you're, that's the wrong way of doing it, they're still not going to hear you because of their own perception of who's telling them, why you're telling them, What's the purpose of you telling them? And then what the hell they want to hear. So, again, that's why I brought up this topic of no talk. You can't I, – and I think it's an important thing to realize. Just like I mentioned about rest havens, you might not want to be used and taken advantage of emotionally or when someone has a problem or even financially or as a favor. And then you may want to. Now, this is more on the, you know – you wanting to help and not care what you get in return, but you're not realizing that even if you don't care anything about a rest haven or being taken advantage of or a uh, flunky or whatever, it, it still may be doing bad. You may have all the intentions in the world, and you don't care what's going on. 
and you're doing it for their own good, it still may be doing them bad. So now I'm taking a focus off of you being the flunky, the rest haven, or whatever. Now, even if you don't care about yourself, you're doing them bad. There's two sides to the story. Because someone can always argue, like, I don't care. I want to help them. I love them. There's a song out, love you more than, I love you more than I love myself and all that other stuff. I can't sing, but, you know, even if you love them more than you love yourself and you don't care you're being used, you're doing, your, you're doing them more bad than good. No talk. Don't say nothing. Leave it alone. Let them hit the bottom. Let it go. Mindset, mind state of you're on your own. You or them, whoever is on their own. Deal with their own problem. Help them when you can. Point them in the right direction. Guide them if you want. Now, if they're just somebody that's straight using you and you know it and you don't like it or whatever like that, then let them go and follow the instructions I said before about rest haven, you know, devalue yourself, see if they're still around, try to, like, you know, um, certify, you know, their feelings for you, whatever. But if you don't care, not to talk in circles, but if you don't care, you're doing you're doing the best. It's kind of a situation where the um, um, spare the rod, spoil the child type of thing, where though you, like how parents, you know, uh, in a parent to um, – uh, son or daughter situation, they don't mind being used. But then if that person they're helping is not getting the message to get up on their own two feet, even brothers and sisters, older brother, younger brother, or maybe doesn't have nothing to do with age, and you want to help out and you don't mind because you're family, unless you're going to tell them straight up, listen, here's your issue, you have to deal with it. And you think it's going to get through, but if you don't think so, let them fall on their own sword. Let them, let them fall. That's the best way you can help them. So going into the new year, that's what my resolution is. I'm not trying to save the world. You get it? You get it? If not, I, I'm not going to stress with you because then I really won't be able to help you. And we'll really be in a bad situation um, together. And that's not good. You know, so... Um, Basically, you know, that's what that's what I'm I'm hoping that everybody realizes whether you want to be used or not. Sometimes it's still bad, whether you're a rest haven or not. Sometimes it's still bad. You know, so you have to. You have to be focused. Which is the main reason why not to be a rest haven or not to you know, care so much about the other person, either way you look at it. You have to be focused to do big things. That means no arguing, especially with fools. Now, that's a whole nother topic. That's what that means. You have to be focused. You have to be. You have to do, to do big things. You have to not really be so – take your time – and set it aside for someone that is never going to do anything good for them, and that's how you. And that's how uh, basically you can have a good year. I believe moving to the new year, you don't have to do exactly what I do, but moving to the new year, you can help and realize when it's being helped and realize when it's not being appreciated and it might be doing harm. You could not help because you realize it. They're basically out to use you and just manage your time properly. Money is important, yes. Your time is just as valuable in certain situations. So just know that. Just pay more attention to your time and be more focused. Create more positive friends and acquaintances. Have more of a positive energy surrounding yourself. Know how to handle situations whether it's people dealing with you and then you dealing with people. That's why I had these past couple of shows about how people take advantage. And now I'm talking about how you can make sure you're doing good with other people. I have good intentions. I will be back <clears throat> probably um, in a couple of days. The New Year's I'm going to focus myself and try not to preach to, <laughs> preach to you and um, 
uh, focus on some fun things and um, moving forward instead of stuck in the past on negativity about why is it this way and why is it that way and uh, it shouldn't have been like this and it shouldn't have been like that, you know, and move more to towards solutions. All right. Don't forget to check out the three sites <clears throat> that you need to be book that you need to bookmark. ControlTheMoney.com, InternationalHustlers.com, and RunwayImages.com. 